Hi from Nebraska, y'all. I would like to visit, revisit, a video that I did a couple months ago. At the very end, I made a prediction, possibly, about this coming winter. The video was car talk. It was the first part of my car talk about why I don't drive. And it says, car talk with bonus weather prediction. Right, and starting about 18 minutes, almost at the very end, I talked about this coming winter following a hot summer as compared to 1980. So 1980 was a super hot winter, a super hot summer, and this summer was very hot. And I said that this coming winter would compare to the winter of 78-79 which is known in the United States as the Winter Without Mercy, and in the UK it's known as the Winter of Discontent because there were very, very cold, lots of snow, big storms. The winter of 78-79 was, was a tough one. But I, I got to thinking about it not too much longer after I made the video, honestly, and I've been, it's been like knocking around in the back of my head ever since. And, I don't know that I actually have the answer to this question, so I'm going to ask for y'all's input, but I do want to take a look at it a little bit, right? So when you're looking at isometrics, you're looking at a palindrome, a mirror, right? We're flipping over our flip date. So I definitely remember Jason saying this one time at least where if you're looking at an event in the past in say October of whatever year that it would be comparable to March like that right as opposed to October like that because that's not a mirror but we do know that some things happen like September so one of the pre one of the recent videos I did I talked about the Munich agreement and how that was signed on September 30th, and then the Russia-Ukraine um, thing uh, was sealed, like the deal was sealed on September 30th of this year, and the Iran-Iraq war in 1980 started September 22nd or something like that, so that's like every so many years always in September. But then other things match up more like Jason said, that if you're looking at a month late in the year in the past, you want to look early in the year now. So that would be like, okay, uh, Gerald Ford fell down the steps of Air Force One, and that was in June of 75, and Biden fell down the steps of Air Force One, and that was in March of last year, uh, 21, right? So if something happened in in June in the past, June, June in the past, right? So that's that J. Then you would expect it to happen in July now, not in March, if it was a strict mirror situation, right? <clears throat> okay, so then you complicate things by talking about winter. Winter spans from December of one year through March of the following year. So you're looking at two, two years. So I guess my question is, I have it down here. So this was the winter that I, that I had initially said compared to this coming winter. This coming winter would be 22, 23, and I was comparing it to this one. But that's not necessarily right. Like you would be looking at this winter. So if you had a big storm, I think there was a big storm in like February of 79. So would you be looking, we know 79 matches with 23. So February, so something that happened in February, you would want to be looking in November. So something in February of 79 would happen in November of 23. Or are you looking at the winter? So the winter of 78, 79 would match up with the winter. 
I'm getting myself confused trying to explain my question. Do you do you see my confusion? I don't know if you're if you find an event in 79. Could it happen any time in 79? So it might be this winter or it might be this winter because it could happen late or it could happen early the next winter. That that is my conundrum with this winter thing and how you know what winter to look at. My feeling is that it, that I was wrong, that that is not correct that you'd actually want to be looking, if you were looking at this coming winter here, that you would want to look at the 7980 winter as a comparison. But if you're, like I said, if your event happens in February of 79, a huge snowstorm in February of 79, would that match up with November of 23? So we'd be looking at not this coming winter, but the following one, right? So I, I thought maybe this video was gonna answer my question, but really I don't think I've come up with the answer and I'm still left with a mystery. But I did wanna clarify anyway that I had been thinking about this prediction that I made a couple months ago at the end of that video and I, I'm not solid on that. So I would really love to hear any of your comments on it and see if any of you have done this or, or talk to somebody else who knows more than we do, more than I do anyway, and can answer this question. Um, if, I, if, if we don't come up with the answer, I might, I might start pestering Jason again to, uh, to get the answer to that because, I don't know, I'm a weather geek, so I'm curious about weather predictions. But before I finish out, I want to tell you about a movie I just saw. White Claw, not related. I just saw a brand new movie on Amazon Prime and it's another one where the main character is autistic but nothing was ever said about it. It's like no, nothing in the movie, nothing in the marketing for the movie would suggest that the main character was autistic. Just like that one I saw in the theater recently, See How They Run, I, I you know, you, you get an idea from the trailer that the that quirky, awkward, you know, but never autism. So I like that. I, I like the fact that they're just um, incorporating these people into regular people and not labeling them in advance. So it kind of lets you figure things out on your own, I guess, or, or not even think about it. But for me as autistic, I recognize the traits and I can pick it out right away. So I know that this movie had a main character that was autistic and I really liked this movie. It's called Dinner in America, and I can tell you right now, if you are not a fan of the F-bomb, you are not going to like this movie. <laughs> it's a romantic comedy. The main character is 20, I think, so it, they're young, and there's punk music, and there's a lot of F-bombs, but it was really, really sweet, and I liked it a lot, and the fact that I, that I had a good cry afterwards tells me that it, it's, it just reinforces the fact that it's so, so important to have an early diagnosis and not go through your entire life confused. <laughs> and for me, I guess, it, I don't want to say anything's been especially hard for me, but I, I think my experience has been a little bit different because I don't come across as autistic. It's not easily recognizable for people who don't know me. For, for those who are just meeting me or only meet me a couple times, they probably wouldn't even notice. I think it might be a little bit easier. I hate to say that, I really do, but some things might be easier for folks who come across their affect is much more uh, obvious. I think folks might tend to give them a little more leeway. Now, you might also get a lot more bullying, especially younger, because you're just obviously different and I wasn't, but I think people's expectations for me throughout my life have been very high because I'm so smart and they just figure, okay, normal, highly intelligent person, their expectations are very high. And 
whenever I would get to the point where I would behave autistically, there there was no there was no mercy, no leeway, no 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 grace given. And it was labeled all kinds of other things, you know, dr overly dramatic, highly sensitive, you know, emotional, uh, all kinds of things. And not autistic, you know, like had people known at those moments in my life that I was autistic, they might go, oh man, she's having a tough one. She's autistic. Just let her go. And given me a little bit of room, a little space to have that. And uh, this girl ended up with a hero in her life who would step into the gap whenever she had problems. And it was very sweet and I liked it a lot. So I just wanted to recommend it. If you're on Amazon Prime, you can watch it. Um, I don't know where else you might be able to find it. And I have access to it for another like four hours. So I'm actually gonna go watch it again. But uh, yeah, I look forward to your comments and I hope you're having an awesome week. Thanks, bye.